global coastal is somewhat uh, you know conflicting idea i mean either it can be an exempt global trade or yeah, it has yeah, to be a coastal export, trade yeah. yeah in in india's exempt trade the indian lion's share was as high as more than 40% in the 80s even in the late 90s 98 99 the indian lion's share of indian exempt trade was as high as about 31% but unfortunately today it is well below 10% so there has been a very very steep decline which causes concern to all concerned because the freight and charter hire earned by an indian shipping company a very large portion of that nearly 67% gets plowed back into the country's economy whereas if a foreign line earns a charter hire by carriage of india's exim trade only about 10% of that in terms of direct port related expenses gets really plowed into the indian economy and the balance gets repatriated so when we are facing a downturn when everyone wants to bring back the rate of economic growth by more and more investment into the economy it definitely makes sense for the government to adopt measures where the you know national lines are supported more for the exim trade because then actually you are sort of uh, you know getting the money back into the economy uh, the total india's seaborne trade will be somewhere in the region of 300 plus billion dollars and the uh, freight component alone of that will be well over 20 billion dollars so today if just about 2 and a half 3 billion dollars is earned by the indian shipping companies for indian exim trade it means that more than 17 billion dollars is earned by the foreign shipping companies so by diverting at least some cargo from the foreign bottom to indian bottom you can get a large portion of this 17 billion dollars plowed back into the indian economy which will be definitely very very beneficial for the economy as a whole